this question, we're given a bunch of data and we need to compute the correlation coefficient. This is the R value. It's the number between negative one and positive one. We're gonna let Excel do this, of course. So we're gonna copy all of our data, paste it in Excel. Uh, it's already highlighted. Insert, chart, scatter. All right, you can already see uh, the trend here. We're hitting the plus button to add a chart element. Trend line, don't click. Use this little arrow. More options. So again, hit the plus, uh, mouse over the trend line, click this, and then more options. Uh, if this doesn't come up right away, if something else comes up here, close that and plus, uh, I don't want this trend line, so I'm unclicking. Click this uh, arrow, more options. All right, we do want linear, it's already so, uh, selected. Uh, display equation on chart and R squared value. So this is not the R value, this is the R squared value. Uh, I'm gonna move this up so I can read it clearly. Double click and you can edit and select, copy, Paste. All right, that's R squared. So regular R. All right, it's going to be the square root of that number. All right, square root of. I already have it copied. I'm going to paste it in here, but uh oh. Uh, Excel's a little bit overzealous sometimes. All right, so I want the square root of this. All right, we got a problem though because is our correlation positive or negative? This correlation is going down to the right. So the R value needs to be negative. And if you're wondering why didn't it look, why wasn't it negative right away? Well, remember, we looked at the R squared value and when you square a negative, the negative sign disappears. Whenever you're looking at R squared, you don't get to see if it's positive or negative. You need more information. And the information is what this graph looks like. So it's going down to the right. That's why I took the negative square root of that value. And this is what goes right here. Copy, paste. It's probably more precision than we need. And there we go. So just pay attention to the sign and remember Excel is gonna tell you the square of the R value. So. Some questions ask for the square. Uh, most of them are just gonna ask for the R, so make sure you square root it and pay attention, positive slope or negative slope, and then make it negative if it's negative slope.